welcome to another episode of Support Local Impact Over Income. Today we are at the famous La Five. If you know anything about soccer in the Sacramento community, you've been to La Five. Today I'm here with Frank. Frank, how are you feeling today? Great. I'm excited for it. Been looking forward to it. Uh, long time we, we have known each other. Yeah. Excited for it. No, I appreciate you. So you're from France. Yep. What made you bring La Five to Sacramento? So my, my little story, um, grew up in France and my dad is a very successful entrepreneur and since I was young I just followed him in his path and at uh, 13, 14 I was like I want to start my business. Uh -huh. And so I've always had this in mind and unfortunately soccer didn't work out for me so I just focused on business, went to business school, uh, transferred to San Diego uh, for my bachelor and when I moved here I was like okay I'm just gonna look for an ID, maybe a project and see if I can start my dream of starting a business here. Yeah. And so when I was in San Diego doing my bachelor and then I went to San Francisco uh, do my master, I cro came across the idea of developing something related to soccer because unfortunately in America there's not enough facilities for people to play soccer yeah. adults kids and I was like why not do something related to soccer and we have this concept in France of 5v5 started around 12 years ago and it's been very successful and I was like why not do the same yeah. thing here and so that's how I started and then came to Sacramento opened one facility and the second one and here we are yeah, most definitely. I could speak personally to La Five. Our off-season pickups <laughs> uh, have really tremendously uh, been way better because of La Five. But uh, talk about the impact of soccer from a global perspective. You know, you come from France, you've traveled all over, you've seen it from the States. Um, talk about it from the global perspective. Yeah, I mean, soccer, there's a reason why it's the most universal sport because mm. it's super easy to get into. Like, you don't need crazy equipment like football, all that stuff. So that's why it's so universal. And I think it's it crosses barriers mm -hmm. like languages, yes, facts. ethnicities, all that stuff. And we just all come together as one passion and World Cup is a perfect example. I'm always excited for that because it doesn't matter your age, it doesn't yeah. matter like who you come from. It's just like we're all together in one one uh, passion. And Facts. even we see it in our facility, like America is known to have a big diversity in the facility. You can have Hispanic, African American, and everybody comes together and True. just play, play the sport and love the sport. And that's why I love love soccer is yeah. we'll all be around the same passion pretty much no nah, most definitely earlier you spoke about how you know it's hard to break into soccer you know in america whereas in france or africa or south america wherever you can see people playing on the streets yeah. how does la five help mm -hmm. expose and break that barrier yeah i think the the main issue in america is there's not enough facilities mm -hmm. and the example of france the facilities are subsidized by the cities and yeah. the government Unfortunately, here, cities and government doesn't bring money to sports and, yeah. and general, and so that's why there's not enough facilities. And if you want to play, let's say we're here today, and we're like, oh, it's 5 p.m., let's go play soccer. You have nowhere to play soccer because yeah. all the fields are used by the youth clubs, they're used by established leagues, so if you're not connected and in the network, it's impossible to play. Yeah. And so that's how the fight came up. For me, it was like, I want to provide a facility where it's accessible and easy to get to. Where no matter the time you're like, hey, I want to play soccer, I'm going to go five, and I know there will be something there. So I think that's the main issue in America is that there's not enough facilities, yeah. fields for to make it accessible. Like you never see kids playing the street playing soccer. Like there's yeah. nowhere for them, and even not even talking about the safe aspect. Like I remember when I was growing up, taking my bike with my friends going to the nearest, like we had some small fields made by the cities that were accessible all the time, and just playing 5v5 small fields there. Like yeah. it, it was ready, accessible, free, and we could go, it was safe. My parents didn't have to worry about it. Like we're <laughs> just going and playing, like I was playing every single day, like two, th three hours on top exactly. of my trainings. When here it's super difficult, like where are you gonna go like this and just play soccer with your friends? There's nowhere. And so that's all the five came. No, respect. Now, you mentioned, you know, you come from a family business. You started your own business. You know, for people that have something, an idea, how do they execute it? Like, mm -hmm. talk about your lessons in starting a business. Yeah. I think the, the main thing is it's a long-term project. Yeah. Like, you're not going to be, I'm starting my business tomorrow. Like, it's something you're going to decide, like I decided at 14 years old. 
and then I was on the look for eight, nine years trying to find that idea because unfortunately project and good ideas don't come like this. Yeah. You gotta find the right opportunity, the right timing. So I think first it's a mindset. Like do you really really want to do it? Yeah. Are you ready to start your business? And then you gotta be on the look. It's not like oh uh, today I'm start I decided I want to do my business and tomorrow I'm starting my business. No, it doesn't work like this. Yeah. It's a long term process of be on the look, what are you interested in? What do you want to do? And then when that right opportunity, you're gonna find it. And yeah. then that's when you gotta jump in and you gotta be quick because yeah. opportunities they're hard to find yeah. and then they go by super fast. So you go also be reactive. But it's not realistic to say, I want to start my business and tomorrow I'm starting my business. It doesn't work like this. So it's first a mindset, get into it, get educated. That's what I did. Like I went to school with an ambition of starting my business. Yeah. And when I was going into classes, I was like, oh, if I have my business, okay, that's how I will do it and all this. And then when the opportunity came, I just jumped on it and, and went for it. And that's when like, actions you got to take actions for sure oh, i love that can you talk about like what support local means to you you know mm -hmm. you moved to sacramento obviously you had been in the states for quite some time but moving to sacramento started your business what does support local mean to you yeah. in terms of you know local support i mean it's it's everything like i came here came from france didn't know anybody and especially a business like ours you got to be in the community yeah. and so it's putting yourself out there go make relationship like the first person I hired was someone that had a lot of relationship in the community just to be connected. And yeah. and even COVID showed us that, that you can't rely on international and all that stuff. So being locally present, it being a community, be genuine that you're here to provide value to people and then people will follow you and they will they will go with you and as of today like the five is becoming this place because yeah. from the get go we had that intention, hey we're here for you guys, we're here to provide a good service and then business will come right after. So it's, it's super important. You gotta go out there. You can have the best products, you yeah. can have the best facility ever. If you're not connecting to your community, if you're not connecting to the people, it won't work, unfortunately. No, facts. Mm -hmm. And you, know, you brought up a great point about you guys stay, staying with the community first. Mm -hmm. What impact do you hope La5 has? You know, obviously you're a big thinker. Mm -hmm. Sacramento's <laughs> just the start, just the mm -hmm. beginning. Yep. But what impact do you hope to have with La5? I mean, what keeps me going every day is like seeing the kids that come through the yeah. five and we're just a small piece of the life, but yeah. maybe we can make a tremendous impact that maybe in the future we'll have someone that plays USL, that plays the MLS, that came to the five and found his happiness. I mean, we already have kids where like their safe place is yeah. the five and they ask their parents, say, hey, can we go to the five, can we go to the five? And so it's seeing that progression of the impact of the as on the kids, but also on the adults, like seeing people that are healthier because we provide an option that is easy for them to go work out and just be with their friends or even socialize. Like we at the bar, people spend way more time in the bar <laughs> just socializing yeah. and bringing, especially with COVID, we do have all the social aspects and, and seeing people like just enjoying themselves. It's, it's super important to me. Mm -hmm. No, I think it's really great what you guys do with like the pickups. I mean, mm -hmm. like, like you said, obviously for the youth development, for young players to find a safe space in La Five, but for the older crowd to get back to what makes them happy, you yep. know, whether it's just playing pickup with their friends, yep. uh, Friday co-ed nights or Friday yep. open nights, king of the courts, things like that. That's what it's all about. For someone that may not be familiar with soccer as a whole, mm -hmm. can you really quick explain the concept of the five versus five? Yeah, for sure. So. Um, First of all, as a business standpoint, it's easier to find a building where you can put 5v5. <laughs> yeah. e so that's yeah. the first reason is you can easily go into a building and, and putting your 11, 11 fields on, on that building yeah. is super hard. So first of all, it's business 5v5. The second field, the good, the good thing of 5v5 is it adapts to all levels. Yeah. You guys came during the off season, professional players, it's super quick, it's very yeah. technical, so it's it's amazing to work on, on your game. But also on the recreational recur, side, someone that I've never played soccer and just wants a good workout and be with their friends, it's super easy. We have the boards on the side. If you miss your pass, it's fine. The ball comes back. Yeah. You don't have to run that much. It's not a big field. So and it adapts to all levels. So that's yeah. that's a good thing about it. Is no matter your age, no matter your level, you can you can find your 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 game to the five v five. 
go play 11-11 when you never, never played <laughs> soccer, no it's, yeah. it's going to be hard. So that's a good thing with the 5v5. All right, mm -hmm. perfect. Last mm -hmm. question for my soccer fans. All right, France, USA, they play in the World Cup. Who are you rooting for? I mean, right now, France. Okay. Maybe in five, like, I mean, we could see it with the new generation. I think the U.S. is going gonna, is gonna to be on the map of soccer pretty soon and at the top level, I'll, I'll say. So maybe in five years, we'll have a different conversation. <laughs> well, I appreciate you uh, yeah, letting us you, come through yeah. the come to the spot and uh, interview you and share. Uh, that's it for Support Local. Make sure you guys check out La Five. The great thing about La Five is it's not just soccer. You know, you got people that come here to do cornhole, you got tech ball, you got dodgeball. They got a bunch of different things that you can do uh, at La Five. If you want to catch a game, if you want to have a good time, make sure you check it out. Um, but that's it, and make sure you guys stop by. Rancho Cordova and West Sac, and I'm trying to convince them to get some more locations, but <laughs> we'll see how that yeah. goes. <laughs> Thank you. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Yep.